Good morning, everyone. How are you today? You can see that I have a array of stuff on my desk today. And we'll give the camera just a second to get caught up on my computer so I can make sure I'm at least halfway on, on camera, right? <laughs> so how's everyone's day? We have some sun outside and it's not raining. Yay, that's always a plus for Oregon. Let me know in the comments how your weather is. Come on. Just waiting for the computer to catch up. There we are. Okay. Looks like we need to move stuff up just a smidge more. There we go. Okay. As always, thank you for shopping with me. These videos are free and I do them as a service to customers and whoever else wants to watch. As you can see, I've got a bunch of tags on my desktop here, which I am going to move over. And I've got a bunch of stamps. So, Christmas tag season, you know. Let's talk about Christmas tags. Pull out whatever stamps you have. Um, the stamps that I used on the first set of, of tags that I made today are the November stamp of the month, which is right here. And you can always get in touch with me or visit my website and you can see um, all the stamps. Just put in Christmas or stamps of the month or whatever, however you want to do it. I can give you um, item numbers if you need. Um, so just let me know in the comments. So this is the November stamp of the month. Very pretty. Um, really pretty mandalas. Nice Merry Christmas. Nice words. I'm upset about that. Sneak Peek. December stamp of the month. Love this one. I have used it a lot. And I have made a ton of Christmas cards over the last two or three months. So this is December's stamp of the month. This is from the card kit for Christmas Story. That's the, um, the name of the paper packet, if you will. So it's the Christmas Story Card Making Workshop. That's the only way that you can get this stamp set and thin cuts which has wonderful uh, thin cuts in it. There's even a little bow. So look that one up. But then I use this itty bitty, hopefully you can see it, snowflake and this is from the core catalog. This one is Winter Wishes from the core catalog. This one again is from I believe the core catalog. And it's got all kinds of nice Christmas stuff. You may have seen a Christmas card where I use that and this. And this one is Harmonious Patterns. And then I went looking in my stash for a couple that I thought I would use to, on the video. So I haven't made them up yet, so be patient with me. This one is the months of the year for January. And this one is still available online. You'll be able to find it there. The number is D. 1996 and it has this wonderful little snowman a little bird a little cocoa or cocoa cup or whatever i don't know hot toddy maybe anything that's got whipped cream on top <laughs> I'm, I'm all for it um so there's this one that i thought i would pull out and then this one I'm not sure which way to put that this is was just stamps there was no thin cuts this one may or may not have thin cuts online um actually the one i looked up did have thin cuts so this has also got some little small ones because some of our tags are small so those would fit in there nicely and this one is the jubilee crew z3901 so these are both online still available this little snow cluster fabulous to have Love those little bits. And I will show you what I did with this array of stamps, which is the November stamp of the month. Like I said, all those ones I showed you, December stamp of the month, some from the core catalog. Oh, there's also a little tiny one. Where'd it go? There's a little M size stamp, M1322. We wish you a Merry Christmas, which goes perfectly with those musical notes stamp. Okay? So, let me get this out of the way since I kind of changed my mind on what I was going to do. Of course, the last minute, so bear with me when we have to peel some stamps. I may use some of the words, though. So, 
and then we'll move all of our bits and pieces up there. Now I have cut out the, in the core catalog, there's a tag um, set. Hold on, let me get it. I made a little, a little reference sheet, if you will. Now I will tell you that there is a stamp set that goes with this in the core catalog. This is uh, Z4641 all-purpose tags. Okay, they nicely layer and nice array of sizes, shapes. They're on page 50 of the core catalog, and on 49 is the matching stamp set. Now they did come out with some. Christmas stamps, which I'll show you in a second, that fit on here too. So this is a good core item, basic to have, and they've already made two stamp sets, or you know, one stamp set in the catalog, kind of birthday and, and multi-purpose. And then now they've come out with Christmas ones to put on here, so I'm hoping we'll get some Easter or Valentine's or who knows what. Okay, so that's in the core catalog. Let's get that out of the way. And let's show you the colors that I'm using are Toffee, Evergreen, and Scarlet. And uh, I, just, I just picked those colors. Um, and we'll go from there. So this first one is a white tag. And I stamped the words in, or the, uh, not the words, the musical notes on an angle. So I had to stamp it twice because it was just a little left over, almost fit. And then I stamped my words on top, didn't quite like that. I think I would have done it maybe a softer background so you see the words more, or maybe put the words in black. And then I sponged around the outside with the toffee ink. I put a little bow on, which I'll show you later. And then I also pulled out, you know, I love those jelly rollers in the glitter. There's six of them in the core catalog and I added actually this green which you wouldn't think look at how green that is but I love how they just kind of take on whatever they're like chameleons I love them okay love 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 them so I will hold it up so you can hopefully see some of that shine around the edges Don't know if you can see that or not. I'll take some stills. Um, and then I just, you know, put in the, they just got these little reinforcer things that really finish it off nicely. The next one I made, which I'll just hold up here. And I just went and grabbed this from my stash. It's old, close to my heart uh, twine that we had. So on this one, I stamped that one background, which is this one here, in the plaid. And I didn't quite, it doesn't quite fit here and here, but that's okay because it gave me kind of a little frilled edge. And then this, all these words are from the December stamp of the month and also this little sprig of green. Okay. Then I, so I, I stamped in toffee, I sponged in evergreen, and then again I used that green jelly roller to add just a little bit of green and hopefully. You can see that shine on there. So that was the next one I made. And then I had to use that little deer. I just love that little deer. The Merry Christmas is in the, what set is that in? Um, good question. Oh, it's in the card baking uh, Christmas story. And then the deer is the November, uh, December stamp of the month. This one I added little berries, and I also used that same, just the tips of this little piece of greenery to give him a little base my, for my deer. And I put my deer on first before I added the red shimmer uh, brush, splattered it. And so I masked out my deer. I don't know where my mask went. It's floating around here somewhere. I just masked it out on a piece of, here it is, sticky note, covered it up, and then peeled it off, okay? Again, just added some twine that I had for my stash, and again, I used that green uh, little jelly roller glitter. Okay, the next one I used the November stamp of the month, which is current, which has this gorgeous Merry Christmas on it. 
and the little medallions. And then on this one I used, which I haven't shown you yet, these paint pens. So you get a set of three, and there's three different tips, of like a teeny tiny, a chisel one, and then a rounded one. So I just used the teeny tiny one, and I put all of these little dots around in the snowflake. And again, I just did some shimmer, red shimmer on this tag. And then don't forget to put your um, to and from on the back, and I will show you some that have that. And again, just some twine from my stash. And the last one I did is this Just For You, which this is from a special that's going on right now, which I'll show you next, which is, like I told you, that second set of stamps that they, um, that they added to that tag set that go with. And this one I did put the to and the from because every one of these little stamps has a to and from that kind of matches the scrolling on it. And again, I went in with that little green um, jelly roller, glitter jelly roller, and just added a little bit. And it just, the green of the shimmer brush is evergreen, which is the same ink as I used. So that was kind of dark. But this shimmery green is a little lighter, so it gives you a little bit of depth to it. And again, I just glued two tags together, so that way I had somewhere to write that wasn't this dark craft paper. Okay? So, let's get those out of the way, and I will take stills of those so you can see those. And let's do a little creating, and hopefully this won't take too long. All right, what do we want to use? I don't know. You got any thoughts? What do we want to use? So... see what fits on here, okay? Let's start with this one. I love that little baby that's cold outside. Anybody else think that this this time of year? It has been so cold. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to take a, a, the deer off of this one, set them over there. So I always line up my stamps, no matter which ones they are, on there. And then I kind of use this little grid that's on our blocks. Don't know if you can see it, maybe this way. There's a little grid line down there. And I match that up to one of these lines. Going vertically, sorry, my head gets in the way. So I've got it on there straight. Haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to season it on my arm. Okay, and then I'm going to wash it off in case I got any skin particles or, you know, stuff on there. Um, and then I always have a little piece of scratch paper over to the side and I like to test my stamps over there So I've got my ink pads over here right now What color do we want to use? Let's use, I wonder if Toffee on Toffee would look okay Like I said, this we're just experimenting. Maybe I'll use black. So I always test my stamps Yeah, let's use black and let's see if it will fit on here. Wash it off again. Dry it in between. That's a, a good thing to do. You always have to wash them off, but make sure they're dry before you set them on, an, on the same ink pad or any ink pad. If there's water on here, they'll kind of bubble into little bubble spots and they won't give you a real nice, clean... Oh, that'll just fit. So I'm gonna put this on here with some black. Again, forgive me if my head gets in the way. Baby, it's cold outside. Isn't that cute? Okay, we'll wash that off. Just leave that there in case we need it. And then I want to put, I think from this other set, because this is a pretty big, here's another tip for you. This is a pretty big snowman. And you could put a cup of, cup of cocoa on there. That'd be kind of cute. But I think I want another little critter. Now you could, there's nothing saying you have to stick within the confines of your uh, tag. You could add this just on an angle and have it, you know, going off of the tag. Because then you could layer it onto a bigger tag if you wanted. Like so. Okay, so there's just no rhyme or reason. You do what you want to do. Okay, let's see. 
Mm, and this would have been cool too if the baby it's cold outside would have fit it on here. That would have been kind of cool to have. But anyway. All right, so we've got that. <laughs> and we'll go over to this other stamp set because I think I want to do directly onto here. And see, this one has some little baby ones that just fit in there perfectly. Right? So I think what I'll do is put a little girl. And when you're taking your stamps off, don't just peel it and then peel it up a little bit and then pull. You want to just walk it all the way down. When they're um, new, especially, they are tight to the surface of this carrier sheet. So you want to be extra special gentle with them. Okay? Just an FYI, you don't want to rip your stamps. All right. Let's get me another block. And put our little babies on there. And let's see. Uh, another block. Put the other baby on there. Okay, so at this point, before we add our images, unless we want everything to be shimmered, you would uh, need to figure out your background, okay? Um, if you want to add a little bit of shimmer or sparkle or whatever. Which... Mm -hmm. I'm like, what do I do? I don't know what I want to do. Um, I want to add these little guys. And I think I could do a couple of these tags. So I could have one here and one here. See, this is my thought process, right? Ooh, and I have that baby snowflake. That would be good. Baby snowflake. I like that. Let's see what else is on here. Yeah, I like this one better. It's a little more frilly. Okay. And what should we do? What should we do? Say hi if you're out there. If you're not too busy. Um, let's put our... Let's do this. Let's do a little smudgy around with our coffee on craft paper so it just adds a light dusting to it if you will. That's snow talk in case you didn't know. Dusting. <laughs> I know. It's funny. Alright. So there's that. And then I want to add some a snowman. Let's see. You know, oops. It went on the page. I don't know that that would show up. But it would show up in green with a green snowman. That's kind of weird. Let's stick with the black and then we can add some color with something else. Now you noticed I didn't wash it off, but I was going from a light color to black. It's not going to mess up my black pad. As long as you go light to dark, you're okay. So there's our little snow girl. And we can add some snow. Oh, I like that. Just a little bit. Think of groups of three. Can even go in the words a bit. Because it's just a lighter color over that black. So it looks great. Okay. Let's see. What other color do we want? Oh, what other little tag? Ooh, that might be cool. Alright, so another one on the craft one. I am probably going to put that on the back so I can put to and from. Um, oh, I'm going to make a color better than this one. Oh, I like that idea. Okay, good, good, good. So now I'm going to take... I know, this is how I roll. I'm going to take the other snowman and I'm going to put him on this. And it's better just to ink it all up. Then you have it. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's cute. All right, let's add a little, couple little snow for him. Okay, and then again, we're gonna sponge a little bit of that. Okay, like that, like that. We could even sponge this because it's gonna be on the back, and then where it lines up, it'll kind of blend in nicer from the front to the back. So we'll do that. Okay, that and that. And then, let's see what colors we want to use. 
close up these inks. Alright. I, I have to have a little bit of order. Okay. So we need to put to and from on here. I only have this one on here so far. I don't know that I want that one. Alright. I'm going to stop right here and show you the special. Um, because it is really cute and you can do it a bunch of different ways. It started October 21st and it goes through December 30th and it's just a bunch of tags for you to use and there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You can order them individually or you can order them in a group of three and they're really cute. There's some religious ones for people that want that. There's some Christmassy ones for people that want that. There's something if you're going to give a cup of cheer, have a cup of cheer. Um, there's a, the snuggle is real, wishing you a warm holiday season. I love this little, the little other pieces that come with it is great. A holiday treat just for you. I like how the to and froms are the same. They kind of match what you've got here. And then they've got a punny one. The to and from is like the top of the... I made this. No, you can't return it. And then handmade by for the back. This one is a nice to and from again. Hopefully you can see those. And it says, honestly, I really wanted to keep this for myself. Anybody done that? Buy something really cool and have to give it away? Oh, that's a heartbreak. And the last one is, you're impossible to shop for. But I gave it a try. And I love the little tag that says, nope. <laughs> I'm not sure where that goes, but it is cute. Oh, it goes right here. Nope. Um, so I guess they're not impossible to buy for because they found something. <laughs> okay, that's enough of my bantering. All right, so you can buy the whole kit and caboodle, which gives you all of the tags and that thin, the the thin cuts for the for the text. So you get all of the stamps and the thin cuts, okay? Or you can buy just all of the tags if you already have these all-purpose tags, okay? And then it goes into the groups. So individually buy them or buy them at a discount in a three-pack. Three-pack, three-pack, okay? And that is that special. And the reason why I told you is because I'm using the to and from, and I will show you what they look like up close. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and a happy new year. Love these little flower bits. Really nice to and from. Let me make sure that you can see that good. Let's see. Is that any better? I'm trying to watch my screen. That looks pretty good. Mute that voice. Okay. Uh, that one is CC. That means you know it's a special for my VIP people. It's already on sale, so they're not going to let you buy it. Um, they're not going to let you use your credit because it's already on sale and discounted for you. Okay. Uh, the next one is the two and just for you. The nice two and from CC one zero two 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 five. And the last one is this one here. The magic of Christmas never ends. Its greatest gifts are family and friends. And this is really pretty and a really nice to and from. Again, it is CC 102223. Okay? Alright, so let's get to stamping some to and from. And I think, I think I'll do it in brown. So I just loaded them up on my blocks, just like I showed you before. And you don't have to use the whole thing. You can cut off the little tails to and from. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So let's glue this onto here with some tape runner or actually I think I'll use liquid glue so that way we get all the way around the edges a little bit easier. And I stay just a little bit from the edge since it's liquid glue because you know it's going to squish out. And I think I need to find me another one of these. It's getting kind of low. Oh, and the other thing is I usually store it in a cup like this. 
so that way the glue is where I want it to be when I'm ready for it. Okay, so I'm just going to put those together and then the beauty of liquid glue is you have a little wiggle time to line it up. Okay, alright. So, let's do some coloring. So, I have, if you like some sparkle, I have the evergreen, the red, and the uh, toffee. So, let's shake them up until you hear that ball in the glitter because there's lots of glitter in there and you got to shake it up each time because you know it falls to the bottom. It falls to the bottom. And then we're just going to kind of paint with it like a paintbrush. Watch your edges, take your time. And add lots of shine. Oh my. Okay, and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to do her scarf as well. Just remember, if you're using colors, just spread them out. You need, you know, like 10% of one color and, and go up from there. It's better not to have just one spot of one color. Now I'm going to the green and I'm going to add, actually I think I'm going to add brown. I'm going to add the coffee. So again, we got to shake till we hear that. <laughs> be shaky. And if it doesn't come out enough, just go over it until you get the saturation that you want. So remember, you've got to let these dry a little bit. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, where did our guy go? we got to color our guy, so we'll leave that up there. Here's our little guy. We don't have much, but we'll give him some green on his... Oops. And this one's really juicy, so I'm going to have to be really careful. Give him some green there. And then I like to store these up like this so they don't puddle or on an angle, which is also nice. Okay. So now I want to pull out my, actually before I do that, do I want to do this? This just kind of finishes it off. Let me see if I can pick this up. There we go. And this is a pickup tool, which is really nice. It is going to cover over my word just a little bit. So I don't think I'll put it on this one. It does finish it off nicely though. Where's my other tag? Here they go. Here they are. See how, let's see, see how it nicely finishes that off a little bit. I did put it on this one, but you can't see it because it's under here. Okay. Ah. So let's do some splattering in the box. And I have what I call my splatter box. And it's just one of my close to my heart boxes that has been really loved and I have a little piece of white paper in here so if I need to cover up over something or if it's the same color as the box then I can do it like so all right and I think I'm going to try toffee first so we'll shake it up we open the lid and then we need something to tap with and I usually use my scissors And if you're not getting enough out, which I'm not, I'm going to push on my, oop, see, I don't want that. So now I'm going to gently tap on here. And if you have to, I like to turn it around a bit. So that way I make sure I get all my edges. Oop. Remember, gentle, gentle. Don't want too many blobs. Or maybe you do. Kind of like that. There we go. Okay. And oh, I need to get the ball off her face. So what I'm going to do is grab me paper towel. There we go. Oh, I'm going to grab me a paper towel. I just want to. Before it dries, wick up some of that. So 
So we'll just give her a freckle instead of a... And that just, you know, mix that up. So that way it's not as dark. Okay? Alright. So now we can let those dry just a smidge. Put our box down on the floor again. And look at all the pretty. Okay. Now, what color to do? I just have a, a box of odds and ends. Some is current, some is not. Or just some ribbon. I think we're going to use that black. Since I have a piece there. The other thing I do is I have two different scissors. These are my standard scissors that I use for cutting ribbon. These are my um, oh, Teflon coated ones. I can't remember what they're called. They're non-sticky ones, so I use this for paper and cutting stuff. It's highly advisable because if you use it on ribbon and stuff and then you go to cut paper, it doesn't work. And vice versa, if you're always cutting with paper with the other pair and you go to cut ribbon, it doesn't cut as nice. So, two pairs of scissors. I don't know what to tell you. That's just what you need. So, I am going to gently Twist that up a little bit. The holes are nice and big, so it's easy to get stuff through. You know, I'm doing it on camera here, so of course it's not going to... Oh, it's going pretty good. So I went in the bottom one, I'm coming out the top one, and then I'm going to thread my tails through. And it just finishes it off nicely. I really like the double, double holes, if you will. Hold that down without getting too much glitter on me. Come on. Looks a lot easier when you can touch stuff. There we go. Now, if you wanted this to stick over here, you could tape it down. I'm just going to get glittery. It's okay. So you could kind of tape it down or just leave it like that. Now, these fray, so what I like to do is just tie a knot in the bottom part, like so, and that keeps everything from unraveling. Also gives you an opportunity that if you want to fluff it out, then you can, as long as I can get my knot to tie. Again, I'm on camera, so you know it's not going to work efficiently for me. So then, if you want to fray them out, you can use anything. Let me just take my scissors here because they're nice and pointy. And those out. And actually, that's not working as well. I like to use my um, piercing tool. It lays it out a whole lot better. There we go. Those are out. I don't know why this one usually, you know, you can't keep them from buzzing. <laughs> but because I'm on camera, they're going to be like, no, we're going to stay together. You lie. All right. And then I have to put them together and trim them just a little. I think they're just a little long. And that's all just, you know, personal choice. There we go. Better. So, oops. Sorry, I just shook the camera. So there's our little... No man, and like I said, you can tape that down or just leave it. You can also make it a little bit flappier, and then you can chew and from. So there's number one. And but oh, <laughs> how long have we been on? Let's see if it shows me. No, but it should show me on my other one. Do you want to see another one? Hi, Judy. All right, let's do another one. Um, let's do this nice big one so we can do something big on there. What do we want to do? Let's see. I'm just looking at the pieces. The little cocoa is kind of cute. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. That would be cute. Why don't we do that one? Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Again, I'm not going to pull where this little piece is. I'm going to start from the bottom where it's a little bit more structured and got more to you know peel up there we go i like that let's get this one off of here and same thing i'm going to just peel it off gently the same way line it up there we go so this is where you play around with you know your words 
And what else do we want to do? Maybe we'll put the little polar bear on there. Oh, he's not in. He's in cream color. Mm, I don't have one of those. Oh, well. That's okay. We'll mix and match. Maybe add this. Alright, so I'm just kind of planning it out. And I, for some reason, I always like my words on the left. I guess I don't know why. And the little hair guy. Sorry. But I wanted you to see my process. Don't know if you want to see my process, but what else have we got? There's a little present would be cute. Oh, a little present down here. There we go. I like that on there, huh? There, yeah. Okay. Oh, back in the where it belongs. So tidy up just a little. I think I'm going to use this little bit of snow. So we'll put that down. And then the present. We'll put that down, and let's get our snowman off of here, put them away. So that doesn't really matter, because it's, oh, and that's kind of big for that. Let's find a smaller block. I tend to match my block size to the image. And this is going to be a little big too, but we can't have it. We don't have tons of blocks, I have quite a few. But not tons. <laughs> Alright, I still think I want to use that little snowflake from there. Let's see, what's the other one have? They have, oh, they have bigger snowflakes. Hold on. I think I'll change my mind. This one has some bigger snowflakes. I'm just putting this word away so I have a little more blocks to play with. And this little girl's snowman. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use a little bit bigger snowflake, so be careful with your stamps. Don't do like I'm doing. Put them away on your carrier sheet so you don't lose them. Alright, let's see. Oh, and on this one, I also am going to bring in some of my scraps from this special that I want to tell you about, which I think I'll be right now. Um... This is a really cute special. So it's got the whole thing, kit and caboodle you can buy. This started November 1st, so it hasn't been here very long. It goes through December 31st, or while their supplies last. And there's a card workshop, a scrapbooking workshop, a couple of different stamps, a couple of different accessories, paper pack, sticker sheet. Um, but the instructions are exclusive for VIP. So here is the scrapbooking kit and you get a stamp set that's a beach Christmas for all those, you know, Hawaii, Florida, Australia. And then this is the card making workshop. So this shows you the different cards you can make. It also gives you some shimmer and the stamp set paper that you need, cards and envelopes, you know, all that good stuff. Um, where's my other one? Here it is. But you can also buy it separately. So you can buy the paper pack with the sticker sheet, or you can buy the individual stamps, the individual accessories. And let me hold that up so you can see. I do not, I bought the paper pack, and then I went down to my gals down in Salem, and I borrowed Nancy's, thank you Nancy, her stamp sets, and I made up the card kit one. So, and this is not all the paper I have left. I have a lot more. Um, but it was just my bits and pieces. But I wanted to show you these cards I made. And they're pretty much the same as the card kit with a couple of little uh, altar ones. So this is the Jingle Shells. Sandy and Bright. <laughs> these are just so funny. And all this coloring is shown in the instructions. So don't be afraid to learn how to color. Or learn something different, because I never would have put this blue. Season greetings. I think that one I added some shimmer um, paper rather than the um, shimmer trim. Shimmer paper is 12 by 12 shim and not it doesn't have adhesive, and this is papaya. This is the shimmer trim in melon, and it does have sticky on the back. This is just the, the shimmer trim cut. 
and then this one, where's the other one? This is your um, long card. I haven't put it on a card because you didn't have the card bases with me. And there's one more. Isn't that cute? I just love that little crown. It's so cute. So then I took this kit and this instructions and I made the winter ones for us because, you know, we're not beachy people. I don't have beach ones. So here is my version. There again, I colored them a little differently and I did the words a little differently and chose different words. So there's the first one. This one, my shimmer, when your shimmer brush is really juicy look at all the shimmer on around there it is just full of shimmer Let's see if you can see that it is just full okay next one this one see it was just flipping the paper over so we had sand dollars and now we have snowflakes isn't that deer cute? I love that little deer. And this is something different that I did. I just cut off my snowflakes. Oh, I forgot the other one. Here's the next one. And I used some different colors. This is Mist Shimmer Trim. And one more. I don't know why I always forget the last one. The little deer. Again, I did the two different colors. And I punched holes out of, with a hole punch of the shimmer trim and just added little dots okay so there's that it is on my website and you can look under promotions and find it but I thought we would just play with some of these bits and pieces so again the winter version the summer flip-flops and shells winter snowflakes summer seashells or you know winter seashells I guess you would say stripes and dots and here's some of the um, zip strips like I said, I just thought I would use my scraps for this next one. So, let's see what we want to do. And I'm going to have to pull some different colors, but that's okay. Uh, and remember, your pretty zip strips have the colors on the back that they use. Let me use this one. So, let me grab... Well, let me see what we're going to use first. Okay, so I would like to put a little bit. I'm not going to have a whole lot of room. A little bit of room. I'd like to put something down on the bottom. Maybe this down on the bottom. Let me do it. Interchangeably. Let's see. Right there. So I'm just going to turn that over. I'm going to get me a pencil. Draw a line, cut that off, or cut that out with the right scissors. <laughs> oh, sorry. And I'm moving the paper rather than the scissors. See if our words fit. We'll do them in black, so I think we can get away with that. So, do I want to splatter that any? Maybe with some um, glacier. I believe glacier is one of those colors. Yes, glacier. Come on, one second. Glacier. So again, I'm going to pull out my box. See that again? the edge with this so 
So I'm just literally holding it on the edge. Just to finish it off a little bit. Okay, bye bye box. There we go. And let's see, I think I'm white too. Okay, we'll go around that as soon as we get the present on there. And what color do we want to use? Just some black. And I think I'm going to tear this if I can. Sorry, it's off camera. Let me tear this just a bit to give us more of a, a snow look, right? We need a little bit of a snow look. Hmm. So we're just tearing towards us. If you tear away from you, then you don't get this white core edge. You get just a nice ripply look. Okay, I like that better. There we go. See? Ooh. And what we can do is take our shimmer brush right along the edge of that and just add some sparkle. I like sparkle. Sorry. Just do. Love sparkle. All right. So, let's see, what other colors do we have? Candy Apple, Glacier, Green Apple, Melon, Lagoon. Peach, Sapphire, Seabrook, Shortbread, Toffee. Okay, so I don't see any toffee in there. But I do see Green Apple and Candy Apple. You want green or red or maybe just the Glacier? Hold on one sec. Sorry. Like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. Glacier. Let's try Glacier for our bits. Move this over here. Get those out of the way. Well, glacier. Again, I'm going to use my little stamping area. Okay. Although I don't think that's going to show up, but we could use the present with this. That would work. So I'm just stamping the present. And that. And then we're going to add a little bit of shimmer around the edges. Just so it's not white on white. And I think we're probably going to have to color that present in. And we'll add some snowflakes before we get too far. So I am just going to color the whole present. And it will darken up the lines, but that's okay. Gonna do a good thing since we're covering it in shimmer. There we go. So that's done. Let's get these bits out of the way. Oh, and let's find a white little bit. Where are they? There they are. Where's my tool? Come here. Okay. So I think. Color that in as well. Anybody else have any ideas out there? What I should and shouldn't do? Probably too late now. I'm probably screaming at the TV. Don't do that! Don't do that! Okay. And don't want to use that because he's a different color. So I think I will put my. Let's see, what fits on there? And what does this say? Wishing you a Merry Christmas. What else I put on there? It's got to be a pie mask. I think I'll do the bear. Still want to do the bear. And let's get the block for the bear. 
I think I just have to rewind up because it's just going to go on here. And I could keep missing out. And the other thing I like to do is line this up on my grid so then I know that right there is where the bear is going to be covered up. So I'm going to make sure I go up high enough and do the words in black. So I think I'll do the bear in Glacier. And again, I'm going to test them over here to see if that will work. It'll be kind of light compared to the black. Nope, I think I want to do black. So let's grab my black. Get that out of the way. Where is that out of the way? And then we can color them in with some shimmer. Another thing I use a lot are my tweezers because it's easier to pull up. And if I don't want it that high, I just lower it down. Put it on, then we'll just cut it off the back. Again, these are my sticky paper scissors, so no worries there. And the glue. Sorry, I know I feel like I'm mumbling. Okay, get rid of that in the trash can. All right, there. Now we need our words. Again, clean up. Always what I have to do. We need our words. I'll lay that down a little bit more so it can transfer over the top of that paper. Very nice. If I do say so myself. Okay, and now we need some snowflakes, which I think we can do in blue. Where's the bigger snowflake? Oh, here we go. Bigger snowflake. Again, I'm going to test it over here. Yep, I like that. Oh, that's pretty. And again, you can go over the words, it doesn't matter. I might even go down there, like that. No rhyme or reason, just put some on randomly. Okay, maybe a little rhyme or reason. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, the little dots and do the dots. Just add so much. Oh, it's snowing on my bear. I kind of miss shapes. That's okay. Yeah, it's all right. And it's on the present too. Why not, right? Eh, let's just give him some more. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Don't go overboard. It's always easy to add too much. Okay, let's do some gluing. Just need to glue this down. You have time to wiggle it around a little bit. There we go. Alright, what are we going to do with our, our guy? I do have candy apple, but I think that would be too dark. And we have melon. Let's try melon shimmer brush. Again, over here I'm going to test. Yes, that'll be nice. 
And let's see. <sighs> oh, it's need some more. Not really. Come on now. There we go. Now, we can go back and outline the bear if we wanted to. Color him in. disease, smallpox. <laughs> oh well. Just have fun. And it's not to say that you can't make up birthday cake. All different kinds of cake. Easter cake. Graduation cake. Mother's Day cake. Don't get me started. Or sugar breath. Or you could use markers or watercolor pencils or whatever else you have. The sparkly pens would be kind of fun on here. In fact, let's see, we have there's my favorite one. We have this one which is kind of a silvery one. So let's go really crazy and add silver in here. I'm going for the shine now, everybody. <laughs> I think I just pulled in the two parts. I need the one white. It's too much. Now, you've got to be careful with these because they will cover over your lines that you stamped. So just keep a little bit shy of the lines unless you want to cover the lines. And go for it. He's really colorful, isn't he? Alright. Which means we've got to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to figure out which color to put on there. I'm not going to do red. I could do silver. Silver twine and maybe some black. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Well, we could just pull out this old stuff that has silver and black together. That works. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Not letting them dry. I'm just all over them. Okay. Some of that. Put all this back in the bucket to get it out of the way. Alright. Let's see if we can. It's a little bit harder with the um, silver thread that goes through here to keep that silver thread. So, I don't know where. have you ever had to use floss threaders? Let's see if I can find mine. They are a nice gadget to have. Here we go. These things that go between like a bridge. So go get yourself some of these or ask the dentist the next time you're in. And it's just, you can thread this over. Ah, you can pick it up. I just cut my nails, so now they're terrible. Just put that like that. Pick this up carefully. Oops, <laughs> don't do that. And just pull it through. Ta -da. And then you can go back through the other side. And that helps a lot. Alright, try to stay away from all that stuff I did. Put those through there. You can even tie a bow if you want on the top. Maybe I'll do that with this one. Sorry, I'm mumbling again. Um, you can just tie your knot. Or you can tie a bow once you get that done. 
and I tend to tie my bows upside down. You see how it's just turning on me? And then they tie better. And then you get them to where you want. And I always go just a smidge smaller so that way I can tag on it a little bit more. And I would probably still wrap my ends or knot them. Not wrapping them, I'm knotting them. Ugh. Oh, come on. Do behave, please. What's that movie? What's that from? Oh, behave. Oh. I know June probably knows. Alright, so see how that. Sorry, I'm going to use a little spit. I just kept that little twine. Ugh. Okay, come on. See, the struggle is real for me as well. There we go. So, because of that little silver, I'm going to take my tweezers and grab that silver piece and everything else and pull it through. Ah, there's always a way. I have the will, there is a way. sit here and watch me struggle or maybe you do <laughs> it could be the highlight of your day she does struggle yes I am human I make mistakes I throw stuff away I have issues <laughs> especially on camera you know all right did I get it did I get it I got it okay there we go so you can do that or not do that and you can totally cover up his face or Move it over. Oh, and I forgot to stamp to and from. Well, and I forgot to put another one on the back. But, you know. Oh, well. We'll just do the best we can, right? There's lots of things to think about on tags. Oh, there we go. Phew. Made it. Okay. So, there's our next couple of ones. Tell me which is your favorite. Of the tags. So I hope that helps you in your tag making that I gave you a little walkthrough of my thought process. And what do you think? That's what I have for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching and thank you for shopping with me. And I will have an order going in December 1st if you would like to order something and piggyback it on mine if it's uh, kind of a smaller amount than, than say, $100. And I can save you a little shipping. Um, always happy to help. Let's see. Make sure you can see everything. So which is your favorite? I don't know that I'm going to number them. You just tell me something that's on there. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.